Hi everybody, it is time for a new pattern. Before we do a new pattern, I wanted to show you guys a picture of my um, my shed. It arrived. Here you go. There is my shed. It is uh, 8 feet wide and 12 feet deep and it's going to be fabulous when it's finished. Um, we still have to paint the outside. We have to finish all the construction around the bottom and of course the inside looks like a bare shell so I have a lot of work to do yet before I can use it but I am really excited that it is here that's a good thing we're not gonna be able to work on it probably this weekend because it is flipping hot at our house um, today it was 117 so far has been the high and with a heat index it says it feels like 126 it is just freaking hot outside. My son and I had to do some shopping today. We went out, we stayed in the cool store. We didn't do as much as we had planned on because yeah, it was just hot. Now I'm here, got my air conditioning on. I'm feeling good, but yeah, it's just hot. So we're gonna go down to the pattern focus and work on today's pattern. Today's pattern is, I gotta scroll down to where I was last, last one I did was that one, so this one is the one I need to do today. Anchor. That one's interesting. Sort of a ribbony pattern. Looks like we're gonna start with a straight line. From that straight line, we're going to make these kind of triangles. We're going to go up and then straight down, up and straight down. It might be easiest for me to do some verticals and then do this. That will be easier for me to get a little bit more consistent. Um, and then in here, we're going to fill in this with dark right there. That's sort of an upside down triangle. And then from here we're going to do this little long skinny M shape like that and then like this we're going to fill in here that's or maybe not depends on you know your thing you may not want it all filled in there it's up to you and then a nice spiral rounding it out to be finished like this I like some of these. Look at how in the middle here they didn't do. They did something else here. So basically I think once you are, and, and you'll notice this one's curved. I like this with the curved V. That, that's cool too. So once you're um, at kind of this stage, the, this part and this part can be embellished in different ways. So let's give that a go and see what kind of interesting things we can come up with. I'm going to turn on my light. Ooh. Excuse me, my husband just messaged me. It is too hot for him to ride his bike. It's too hot for him to ride his bike, so I'm gonna to have to work on getting him home from work. He rode his bike to work, but this morning it was, you know, a nice temperature. No longer a nice temperature. Oops. My, my phone just turned itself off the pattern so I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's try again. Okay. Alrighty. Let's find a paper to use. I'm going to use this one I think. And I'm going to get myself a little border. And um, I think I'm going to do one kind of this way and one kind of this way. I think that would make an interesting composition. Well, that's what I'm going to do. And you know what? I might not go all the way up there. I might move it over here. I think maybe I'll move it there. Okay. So I'm going to do this. 
And I'm going to erase this one. Like that. And then from here, I'm going to I'm going to do these verticals first because that will help space out the rest of what I'm doing. I think like that. And then the triangle downward, like so. think so. And then inside this we're going to draw another triangle like that and we're going to fill it in but I'm going to move to a much fatter pen to do that. So to start with I'm just going to draw this shape. Like that. Now I'm going to fill that in with a big fat and use my brush pen that's fastest. Yeah, super duper hot. It was hot yesterday when they were building that shed. Um, but not as hot as today. It, it's got to be at least 20 degrees hotter today than it was yesterday. Um, I'm not sure that it got over a hundred yesterday. I filled up a big, I think it was a two gallon jug of water for the, for the guys who were building the shed. And I filled that thing up five or six times full of water for them. Make sure my, Workers were staying hydrated because it was really hot. Felt really bad for them out there. They said that was not the hottest that they worked in this summer. That they've been to some places that have been much hotter, but still, I felt so bad for them. That they did an awesome job. I am really looking forward to when it cools off a little bit. We're going to um, put drywall in there going to put lights and electrical so I'll have I decided I want my um, you know like if this is the floor of my of my shed I'm not gonna put the electrical outlets way down here like in a normal house you know they're always behind a piece of furniture that you want to use the stupid plug it's gonna go above my work surfaces like halfway up the wall that's where my electrical plugs are going to be. So I can reach them. So when I want to do a craft with a glue gun, I don't have to get on my hands and knees to plug the darn thing in. And we're doing that in my husband's uh, shed as well. I didn't show you a picture of that. I guess I could do that um, when I'm done here. Or maybe starting the one for tomorrow. When I have my light off, I can, uh, I'll do that. So you guys have to stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. And I will show you a picture of the bigger shed that we got for my husband and his tools. Okay. So here that will go off the edge and here that will go off the edge. So I'm actually only going to start this little Thing kind of here like that maybe I'll do every other one I didn't get that lined up very well did I oh well it is what it is. I'll do this one. 
Yeah, I think I liked it better without, but that's okay. I'm going to keep going. I wasn't going to keep going, but now I've decided I'm keeping going. Changed my mind. I do that and then this pattern shows that we then do this line here vertically and that is the base pattern I'm going to do another one over here and I'm going to make it do a little bit slightly different things just to Kind of break things up a little bit. I have to do a lot of drawing today. And I'm starting late, which I don't usually like to do. But because it was... We, we did some measuring inside the sheds. And then we went to the hardware store and looked at light fixtures and windows and door locks. I didn't want to have to deal with using the key all the time when I go out to my shed. So I, I bought one of those doorknobs that have the keypad, the locking keypad, so I can just put in like a combination instead of having to take a key with me every time I go out there. Um, my husband and my son were going to work on maybe insulating, <clears throat> getting the uh, electrical run and insulating out there, but I don't know if they should do that. I think they should wait. It's going to be too hot. Okay. So I'm going to put one going this way. Changed my mind on the shape. And I think on this one I want to make a nice bold end to it, but I want... Here we go. I don't want the brush tip, so I'm going to use this one. I'm going to come back through here. nice fat line right there that's good and I think on this one I'm gonna put some fat circles down here why I don't know they just spoke to me that's why. Like that. Okay. So now I want to do this shape again. I think. I'm going to follow this line upward. like that.
need the bigger pen. I need the bigger pen. You would think it would be right on top that I just used it, but you know, of course not. It's already dropped to the bottom of the pile. Well, somebody asked me what else we did on vacation. I told you a little bit. Um, when we went to Skagway, I rode the train. My husband rode bike. They rode the train up and rode bikes down. Um, I just rode the train up and back down. So it was two different trains. It was on the same set of tracks, but it was two different bunches of rail cars. So we weren't together. We thought we maybe would be together on the on the uh, excursion, but apparently not. Into my things are moving around here all by myself. I think I'm not going to do those that way. I think I'm going to do them this way. I like that. Looks kind of nautical. Um, let's see, what else? So that was Skagway. Um, myself and my one of my church friends, we we took the train. Um, that was awesome. The the view was just stunning. We saw one of the most rapid um, waterways there is. It was a class six uh, rapids, which was crazy fast. Um, the train goes over it. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. Um, they said that it's it's only a handful of people have even attempted to raft or kayak or canoe or whatever down the the rapids and not one of them has survived crazy crazy rapids i want to do something this way i like these lumpy bump things and instead of doing them on this side i think i'm going to do them on this side and just kind of fill in this area. Between my, my little dots here. So we saw that. Let's see. What else did we see? Um found a really awesome fudge shop in Skagway. You ever go up there, the Alaska Fudge Company. Super good fudge, kind of pricey, but we bought it anyway. Of course, then that caused an issue coming home. The TSA didn't like it in my luggage said it looked like an organic mass. So uh, my suitcase was pulled off and inspected. Just fudge. I offered the guy a sample. He didn't want it, but offered it to him. No, nope, nope. It's okay. And 
and let's see that was pretty much it for Skagway we did a little bit of shopping wandered around town but mostly mostly was just the train ride a lot of walking town's not that big you know I'm, I'm used to living in Southern California where one town just merges into the next and you can't even tell that you've moved from one city to another yeah I'm not used to you know like five blocks long or 12 blocks long or whatever it was I guess it was 12 blocks because it went to 12th Street and then it just kind of petered out uh, I'm not used to that so that was different I'm done. Now she just needs to be shaded. A N G K O R. A N G K O R. All right, a little bit of shading, and then I'll be done. And then we went to Juno. And you know, we just we just kind of mostly walked around town. It also is not as big as you expect for being the capital city of Alaska. It it's 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 really quite small. It's only a couple of blocks deep, and you know, ten or twelve blocks long. It's not that big. Um, I'm sure there were other structures and homes back deep into the forest, but the city itself isn't that big. Uh, we were going to go up and take the, the tramway to the top and overlook the, the area, but um, the clouds were coming in, and my husband and I have done that particular part before. And my son wanted to just kind of wander around town, so that's what we did. We didn't do a whole lot. Just enjoyed ourselves. Some of our group went, I believe that was the th where they went whale watching. They saw some awesome whales and then I think when they were at Skagway they took the glacier the helicopter tour to the glacier yeah that was out of my price range I could not afford that particular excursion can it was raining so we donned our wet, wet weather gear and just wandered around the town um, we did a lot of wandering about town we didn't do a whole lot of excursions this trip I really didn't feel like I needed to. Um, some trips I feel like I really just want to be very adventuresome and just go out and do a bunch of stuff. And this time I felt a little more relaxed about the re perhaps it's because it's not our first time um, going on this particular um, part, this particular cruise that I felt like I didn't need to do everything. I don't know. Oh, look how pretty that is. It came out really nice. Yeah, I'm just talking and not paying attention and, and look what happens. I think I want to put a little bit of the extra white just here. Like 
that. Maybe here. Somebody told me I missed something. This one? Oh, I did. Huh. Well, I missed something filling in on that particular. The Amy Diamonds. I missed a couple of white spots. Oh, well. I think that was published yet. I'm confused. Yeah, that shouldn't have been. I'm confused. Alrighty. Anyway, there we go. I hope uh, you guys have a great day and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.